<clears throat> All right, this is my back office. Yay. And uh, you can see I've got six success club points already for this. Uh, and it's only the first week of September, so I'm rocking. I'm All right. Rocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're rocking. You go. I know, exactly. So um, when we get into the back office here, um, to set your preferred placement, you can just go a couple, you can go a couple of different places. First of all, my business, my preferred placement. You see, it's the first one. All right, so you can, if you know exactly what you want to do, just go right there, click on it, wait for it to go, and that's what it looks like. It's just a little box, and you choose. Make sure it is not set on automatic placement. Make sure you click set preferred placement. Um, and this is just the coach ID number of the coach on my left leg that the next person's going to go under. Okay, so that, I don't even have to look it up, see who that is. My, it's only, I only have one business center and I'm going to put this person on my left leg, the next coach, because that's my weak leg and I want to sort of build that left leg up. So I'm going to hit save. Make sure you always hit save. So, so it, it's automatically going to be set on the outside leg of yeah. that person. Okay, that's another thing is you always want to make sure mm -hmm. that you're placing your coaches on the outside leg of oh. whichever coach is on the bottom. All right, now here we're going to go see my downline. So you can set it from here, just preferred placement. And you can also go to look at your downline. You can go to my downline. Graphical genealogy is what you want to look at to set that. So it's just there's coaches everywhere here. Okay, so. We have coaches everywhere. Um, this is me at the top. So this would be you at the top of your screen. And also, once again, there you go. You can set your preferred placement right there from the screen. Okay. Um, this is not one of my coaches. This is a coach that ended up on my downline from uh, one of my friends. That's another coach. And um, anything <clears throat> that you see that's gray is an inactive coach. And that could mean that they, they haven't ordered their Shakeology, they're not on HD. It can mean any number of things that they just haven't got their volume points for that month. Um, so I know why these two are, their Shakeology orders um, are later, they move them later, so these two are inactive until their Shakeology order goes through. And um, as you come down, you can see the PS under uh, at the top of these little heads. Uh, PS means personally sponsored coach. So these are my personally sponsored coaches. This is not, all right? These are not because there's no PS above that. Here's one of my Emerald coaches, Walter, and there's one of his coaches, Mike, and this is his wife, Camille. So Walter put his wife on his weak leg and he's building her business. So he, he actually gets two Shakeology orders a month. He gets one for himself in a bag, the 30-day bag, and Camille's order is a box of packets. So Walter always has packets to hand out as samples, which I love to do. I get to do those too. I love to get packets for samples. Um, all of these coaches are left leg coaches. Here's the dividing line right there. So um, I don't have all of my coaches on the outside legs simply because I put, um, for a couple of coaches, I put weak outside leg or first available. And I wanted to put first available for a couple of reasons. I've got some people that are coaches that I wanted to sort of build their, their volume right away. And this is one of them. And these two are, are, are other that I want to do that. So as we go down, these coaches are my sponsored coaches as well. Inactive one's inactive. One is not. <clears throat> and um, she used to be Emerald, and one of her coaches quit, so now she's not Emerald. And we're going on down. Trudy used to be Emerald, and you can see her two coaches here um, haven't got their Shakeology orders going. So things like that happen. So the the as we go down my, the outside of my left leg, you can see that I've got a lot of inactive coaches on this leg. And a lot of it has to do with their Shakeology orders that they haven't done yet. Um, or they're just, you know, kind of not really working their business right now, which is okay, you know. Um, and a lot of times they will go back to active. 
they'll go back to active. So you can see this is my left leg just by looking at all the inactive coaches on that side. This side is the, uh, the heavy side. This is a good side. And I don't have as many coaches on this side. However, these coaches, this is another one that's not one of my coaches. He just ended up there. So actually, Steph and everyone above Steph will, will, um, will go ahead and benefit from his volume. Steph needs one more coach to be uh, Emerald. All right, we're going on down. Here we go. There we go. There's Lindsay. Lindsay's rocking it. And these are her personally sponsored. I don't know. I'm not able to see on um, the right side of the screen. Oh, oh you're not. Okay. No. Can you can you uh can you guys see Michelle and Lindsay? I only see the M I C and then half of the H. I'm missing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well hopefully you guys can see that. As I go down, all okay. I'm really showing you is the outside of my right leg. Okay. Um and so we are going back to the top so you can see the whole thing. Um, and it might just be different computer screens showing different yeah. stuff. So that's really what I've done. I've just alternate alternating sides. If I want to choose, um, say I want to choose to make Melissa uh, to have her get a little more volume, I can click that one and it says, this user has been selected for preferred placement. Would you like to save this change? And you can click OK. I'm going to cancel. You can click OK, and that will turn red. All those little blue dots will turn red. And that's going to be where the next coach would be placed. So that's another way that you can set your preferred placement instead right. of going through that box on top. Yes. That's yes. what I do, actually. OK, good. I, I, like I had some problems with the box because it was putting someone else's coach ID in there. Um, ah. so for some reason, maybe I clicked on the wrong thing, and it put a coach's ID and then it set my next coach under him instead of where I wanted it to be. So yeah. I, I think it's more clear cut and direct to just double click on the next available spot on that. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. And then it changes to the red dots like you just showed us. Yeah. Now, now you may be wondering what these red X's are. These are coaches that I had um, at least a year and a half or two years ago, both of these coaches that, and they both quit uh, due to financial or personal reasons. Um, the reason they are not gone, uh, cause most coaches will be inactive for a while, then they'll just disappear if they're, if they quit is because they are under a coach, a personally sponsored coach that has no downline. And so I had to figure out why those were like that. Even after two years, they're still like that. And I'll show you how to find stuff like that out. So during the back office. Now you go to FAQ. So I went to FAQ and I typed in red X and it gives canceled coaches in geographical and graphical genealogy report. So it tells me exactly why. So a canceled coach with only one downline coach in either left or right leg will not be viewable. Um, it says a canceled coach within your downline who has non canceled coaches in the left and right legs on their first level will be viewable. It said no change will be made to this canceled coach and it will be marked with a red X. So I had to look that up because I, I couldn't figure that out. That's what That's you interesting. Have. Yeah, it's very interesting. And um, I'm gonna click yes, this answer was helpful. So that's what you, you can go to your FAQ to find out anything, just about anything that you need to know. Um, always ask us if you want, but um, totally. yes, you can find uh, the FAQ, you can ask us, or you can even post it on our team pages as well. Yes, you'll always get an answer no matter what. We love to help answer questions. So I'm going to stop my screen share.